This is The VO Life, positive conversations about living the voiceover life. Inside into the business and day-to-day grind of being a regular Joe VO. From the humble beginnings to the finally hitting a new level to getting that first big client. It's all about that VO life. Here's your host, Troy Holden. Hey, 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 Troy Holden, VO Life. This is number seven out of 10 of our fall shorts, quickies for the fall. Um, and today we have uh, one that I think a lot of you will be interested in because I think a lot of people out there that are in the group and listen to the podcast, you probably have migrated over from other groups and stuff and picked up on what we're doing here. Um, and no offense to anybody. Uh, this is not a poke at anybody. This is nothing. This is just me saying, you know, the, the platforms that some of us have had to work on and have stopped working on or have changed how we approach them, your Upwork, your Fiverr, uh, and, and, and I'm sure there's others we could put in that bucket. Um, the struggles you've had with that and et cetera, et cetera. We're going to throw all that away right now. We're going to say that you are um, doing some business. You're, you're uh, getting some repeat clients. You might even have built some direct business and you're trying to decide, do I need to get on these pay to plays or not? Okay. Keep in mind, this is an opinion. Please do not get mad at me if this does not go along with what you believe or what you think. It's okay because this is just me saying, had I known what I known then and what I know now and da 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 oh my gosh, I'd have done everything differently. I never would have gotten on uh, the sites I got on. I would have somehow found a way to save money and invest and do this in silence at home and study and study and study and coach and coach and coach. And then when I was ready, I would have went and got on these pay to plays. Um, I got on voices.com within six months after I started VO. I was blessed and lucky that I booked a few jobs, but it was mostly game trailers. And I was doing all these silly character voices, you know, and, and, uh, which I was okay. I enjoyed doing them. And it did put money in the bank where I could start coaching with other people. Uh, So blind luck or a blessing, whichever one you want to call it, it happened. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody get on there unless you are working with a coach who tells you you're ready. It's not easy. A, it's very competitive. B, and you got to be very quick. C. So let me explain why. Um, quick summary, Voices 123 was a lot trickier for me. I started out with the free thing. I then went to the 200 something dollar thing. Didn't see a lot. I didn't understand the rankings, the ratings, how anything worked. So just to use the word we use in the South, I piddle farted. I didn't know what I was doing. It drove me down to the bottom 20%. Uh, I f- went to VO Atlanta, uh, came back after that, talked to some people about it, got the course, upped it to the $800 membership, worked hard to pull out of that hole, and I finally got it up to the bottom 50%. And I started seeing more auditions, started getting likes more, and and I understood how it worked. If you're going to go on something like that, you need to understand that before you go on so you don't screw up on the front end and tank yourself because there, there, it's hard to come back from that. It took me a long time, months and months to come back from that. And I'm still not totally back. I'm still in the bottom 50. I haven't gotten to that top 20 or, or top 40. And that is when I probably need to up my game to platinum. That's a lot of money, but from what I see in here, it's worth it. Pay to plays are not a place to say, I'm going to pay 500 bucks, and that way I'll get a lot of auditions, a lot of good stuff to practice on. Well, and also, if you're there, people are hearing you and you're not doing a good job and your audio might be bad, you're, you're quote unquote blackballing yourself because they're hearing the worst of the worst. And when you come back later, like, oh, it's that guy again, I'm not even going to listen. You know, that can happen. You know, I'm not saying it happens or doesn't happen, but it probably happens. You know, put yourself in their shoes, right? Um, I think pay-to-plays are 
are part of the spoke of, you know, they're one of the spokes in the wheel. Um, some months for me, it's a good spoke. Some months it's hardly anything at all. Some months, nothing. My direct business is what I count on because it's, it's consistent in there and the rest of it is gravy, you know, so I work harder on that direct. And that's why I, I talked about earlier in one of these episodes, I would like to dial in on whether it's, uh, radio imaging, uh, or, you know, the, the automotive stuff, because I feel like I've got strengths in that and can do it pretty well, but it's hard to break into. So the pay to plays, you know, I, I know a lot of people are making a lot of money on there, but they went about it the right way. If you know someone who offers it and they are very successful on there and would offer business coaching, that would be a help. You know, we talked about business coaching way back in number five, when and why to get it. That's another aspect of it. If someone can get you through that. Now for voices one, two, three, there's a fantastic, uh, online course you can take. Um, I can't think of of it off the top of my head. I wasn't even going to mention that I should have wrote it down, but, um, it's two ladies and they even once a month, I think they have a live one hour thing where they give updates and stuff. And it's only like 20 bucks or something to go to the live thing. I, I think I could be off, but, um, that that's what helped me fix mine and got me out of the hole. So if you're going to do pay to play, be prepared to not only invest in the pay to play, if you're ready to be in it, be prepared to invest in either someone coaching you to help you get it done correctly, or at least buying this, you know, this online thing to help you set it up and get it going right. Pay to play or not to pay to play. Yeah, you probably could and should. Um, but when you're ready, pay your dues, get your coaching, get everything right. And when your coach tells you you're ready, you're probably ready. And that's all I got to say about it. We'll catch you next time. What do we got coming up next time? Oh, it's number eight. Number eight. Number eight is not when should I get an agent. Number eight is going to be how do I get an agent? I don't have a magic formula, but I have some ideas and I have some things that help me along the way that I'll share with you next time right here on The VO Life. You've been listening to The VO Life with Troy Holden. Check back for more episodes each week and catch up on what you've missed also. This is for you, those just living that VO life. Thanks for listening and join us again. The VO Life intro is by Louise Porter. The outro by Liz Moya. You can pick us up on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple, and many other podcast carriers. Need to send me an email? Do it today. Troy at TroyHoldenVoices.com. Thanks for listening.